Hi, I'm Liz Schrum for the Wisconsin Technology Council, here with WisBusiness.com, the show. Just ahead, Tom Still talks about what happens next with Wisconsin's early stage capital bill. And Sanjeev Chitra of the U Group in Silicon Valley gives an outside perspective on Wisconsin's startup economy. And now, here's the WisBusiness.com stock report. Rising private sector jobs. Federal estimates show the state added 12,700 private sector jobs in May, and the unemployment rate dropped to 7%. That's slightly better than the U.S. average. Revisions are possible in time as actual hiring figures are reported. And falling, the Farm Bill. With Wisconsin members of Congress from both parties voicing concerns, the House of Representatives voted to reject a $500 billion Farm Bill. The bill now goes back to the House Agriculture Committee for revisions. The Wisconsin Farm Bureau was among the groups disappointed by the House vote. And now, here's Tom Still with his Inside Wisconsin commentary. Even before the legislature had voted overwhelmingly to support a $25 million bill creating a state leveraged venture capital fund, entrepreneurs were lining up to pitch their business plans. Talk about pent up demand. Unfortunately, the pitch line can't form tomorrow. It will take several months before a private fund manager can be recommended by a selection committee and that manager would need a similar amount of time to pick recipient funds to bring matching private capital to the table. It will likely be early 2014 before the fund is ready to make investments in emerging companies. Even then, all the money won't be invested at once. There's no sense in force-feeding investment dollars to fledgling companies. That money is better parsed out over time as those companies hit their milestones. That's all part of a belt and suspenders approach baked into the bill by legislators who wanted to ensure the best interests of taxpayers are protected over time. That's also how private early stage funds work, especially if they want to succeed. Return on investment is a necessary goal, so venture capital must also be patient capital. The long-term success of the state fund will be measured in two ways. The first way is traditional return on investment, in which the state will share just like the private partners. That return won't be known for years. The second measure will be company and job growth, which will take place over time, but not without a few company failures along the way. Depending on how soon investment dollars are put to work, however, the results can be measured within a few years. One indirect result of the legislature's action is already being felt. Wisconsin has sent a message that other private investors have heard loud and clear. The state has faith in its startup economy. Those investors, many of whom are based outside Wisconsin, are already increasingly showing interest in what the state's young companies have to offer. Funds from California, New York, Illinois, and elsewhere have signaled interest in Wisconsin's early stage economy, in part because they followed the legislative process. That doesn't necessarily mean those funds will invest in state-based companies, but at least they're kicking some virtual tires. It will take some time for the new state-backed fund to become operational, but entrepreneurs can safely begin polishing their pitches now. Money often attracts money, after all, and the legislature's vote of confidence is a magnet. Thanks, Tom. I'll be right back with Sanjeev Chitra, a UW-Madison electrical engineering graduate and managing partner of the U Group in California. White Hirschbeck Dudek represents companies at all stages of development and in a wide range of industries to navigate the legal challenges of regional, national, and global growth. At WHD, every stage takes center stage. I'm back with the U Group's Sanjeev Chitra. We caught up to Sanjeev at the recent Wisconsin Entrepreneurs Conference. You have been both an entrepreneur and investor. Tell us how the U Group fills the niche between both worlds. The U Group uses capital as a tool to create value for the investors so that the investors, the board, the entrepreneurs, because all goals are aligned to creating what we consider as an exit engineered execution. It's a beautiful combination for an entrepreneur to create value for investors and with the help of the U Group. You are a member of the Silicon Valley Badgers. I understand the group has taken a recent interest in Wisconsin startups and emerging companies. What do you like about Wisconsin? Mike Splinter, these kinds of people who are in the Badgers community in Silicon Valley feel that it is time to right now take the intense intellect that has been 
created in Wisconsin, including companies, and to create a global presence using the Badger Alumni Global Network that is there. So we feel that, that the time is now, the time has come to, to extract and replicate what value Silicon Valley has created in a global marketplace. And where do you see the gap in Wisconsin's ability to attract investors and capital? We must, in Wisconsin, find a way to create local wealth so that we attract the attention of the outside investment world to come into Wisconsin. And therefore, I believe the gap right now is to creating such kind of value-based exits or build companies that attracts the attention of the US, the global marketplace, and we have an incredible Badgers network to be able to do that. Thanks, Sanjeev, and thank you for watching this edition of WISBusiness.com, the show. The show is produced by WISBusiness.com and the Wisconsin Technology Council and sponsored by BMO Harris, Whitehurst Beck Dudek, MG&E, and UW-Milwaukee. Visit our websites to read and learn more. I'm Liz Shrum of Talent Foot Executive Search. See you next time.